Hi, my name is Peter Matavish, and welcome back to another DSG tutorial. So, in this question, we're doing another ordinary level question, and it's from the 2012 paper, and it is again an autographic projection question. So, as always, read through it first. The 3D graphic on the right shows an MP3 player docking station. Okay, the figure B3 below shows an isometric view of the device. A, draw an elevation of the device looking in the direction of the arrow. Note, only the docking station needs to be drawn. The MP3 player shown in 3D graphics should be ignored. B, draw a plan projected from the elevation. And C, draw an auxiliary elevation of the device projected from the plan, which will include the true shape of surface A. So if you want the true shape of surface A, surface a you're going to have to do an auxiliary view up to the right. So that means we're going to start with our elevation, as it's told us to do, on the left-hand side of the page. So we'll start off the XY line. And we'll pick a point to start off. We'll start putting in the box fits into it. So we'll do the widths and the heights. So the width of it is 120 mil. And we'll draw them straight up. The height of it is 100 mil. So we'll mark that in as well. And then we have a few individual heights. So we have the height, uh, we have one height of 30 mil, and also 20 for the front. So let's put those in. So we have 20 mil for where the MP3 player will go, and 30 mil for the speaker itself. Draw those across lightly. And then we have 30 mil and 60. So let's put that in. So 30 mil from the edge here. We'll give you the edge of edge of the um, docking station part. Then you measure over 60, and you have your 30 in there, so they can be drawn up lightly as well. You don't want to go as far as a 20. Now, there's as much as we can draw strong now with the elevation. We don't know the width here at the front until you do the plan, okay? So remember that, you won't know the width until you do the plan. So I'm going to zoom in and then draw in strong. Okay, so that's the elevation drawn in strong. So now let's zoom out again and project the plan. Okay, so your plan is going directly below it. So project everything, all your widths, straight down below it. Again, it's up to you, the distance between the two views. Keep it nice and close. Now, when you're looking down from the top, your distance is going to be from the back to the front. So in this case, we have 25 mil. We also have a 55 and a 30. So let's mark those in. So we have 25. Also from the back, we have 55. And then from the 55, we have 30. Okay, we draw them all across lightly. And that is all our widths put in, I think. All you need to do now is, this is a speaker, this is a docking station. It's going 60 degrees from that corner and 60 degrees from this corner. So just like the elevation, to make sure that you can see it, I'm going to zoom in and uh, draw it strong. Now, so that's the plan done as well, and it is these two lengths here that you need to project back up to the elevation to figure out how to finish off the elevation. So, bring this elevation, this surface, straight back up to the elevation. But these two are going back up the way. And now you can finish off that elevation here. So that is part A and part B done. 
The next part is part C. It's a drone auxiliary elevation of the device, so that means the whole thing, projected from the plan, which will include the true shape of surface A. So surface A is this surface here. So as always with these questions, you want to project your points from the plan, because this is where we see it as an edge view. We see the surface as an edge view here in the plan, which means if we project perpendicular, 90 degrees to that surface here, we'll get a true shape of surface A. Um, in this case, it is at 60 degrees. So if you rotate your set square around to give you a 30 degree angle, like if we show you here, project out this point, we are getting a line that is going to be perpendicular or 90 degrees to that surface. So you need to project all your points out now, 30 degrees from the plan. Now remember x, y lines, so in this case x1, y1, are always going to be perpendicular to your projection line, so let's put it in here. So that is the x1, y1. Now because this is an auxiliary elevation, you know, you're projecting from the plan, it's going to be an auxiliary elevation, which means it's going to be you're going to get your heights from the elevation, so from your x, y line up. All right. Now you can label again, just like we did in the last one of these questions we did. You label your points in elevation, label your points in the plan, and it'll show you how to connect them all up here in the auxiliary view. If you can visualize it, that's fine, work away. But if not, labeling is a great way to visualize how it's going to be drawn in the auxiliary elevation. Okay, so use the height from the elevation to project over your point for the auxiliary view. Now, any line, any point that the heights are from the xy line up. So if any point is actually on the xy line, then it has to be on the x1, y1 in the auxiliary view. So 0, 9, h, g, f, e, and 6 and 5 are all on the x1, y1. So point 0 is here. Point 9 is there. And so Okay, so that's all the points on the ground. Zero nine six five and E F G H. Okay. Now to find the rest of the points you have to find the height from the X Y line up. So let's first height is going to be our points A, B, C and D. So this is the height up for point A, from the ground up to A. So find the line for A, it's here. Mark that up from your X1, Y1. Okay, same thing with B. And C. And also with D. So this is A. This is B. Back in here is D. Alright, next height then is points 1 and 4. So that's the 30 mil here. So that's our height for 4. It's also the same height for 1. So this is point 4. This is point 1. Then our heights now from the x, y, and all the way up to points 2 and 3. So that height there is the height for points 2, 3, 7, and 8. Okay, so this is 2, 3, 7, and 8. Mark those in.
Okay, and join them just up, join them up just like you had with the labeling. So we had zero, one, two, three, four, five. So zero goes up to one. One goes over here to two, so it's at an angle. Two joins across the three, and three joins down to four. Four then joins down to five. Okay. You also have our A, B, C, Ds joined. And also one to four is connected across. And you have a bit of hidden detail. So that's basically all your points put in. Now you just have to draw them in strong. And remember you're looking in this direction in at A. So you'll see one, two, and eight. You'll see that surface here strong. You'll see the A surface strong, the front surface here is strong. This will be at the back. And this surface here is at the back, so you'll have a bit of in detail, okay? So you draw that auxiliary view in strong, no? Okay, so that is your auxiliary view done and just a bit of shading to show that it's still the elevation but just at a different angle. So this is a slope surface there, emphasis, and then this is your true shape of surface A and corresponding with that one there. Okay, so just zoom in on the auxiliary view so you can see a bit of it. Okay, so I hope that's not being cut off like uh, the last question. And that's the question done. So I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more DCG tutorials. Okay, thank you and good luck.